everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have a very special guest with me. This is my mom, Lynn. Hi! Hi. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing some really easy Valentine's Day cards. But you are a total newbie at this. Very. And what is your background with art and watercolor? Um, absolutely nothing. So what are your feelings about art and just, you know, drawing and painting in general? I am not an artist at all. And that goes way, way back into when I was actually in grade one. Um, my teacher actually put on my report card that my drawings, my artwork was very immature. And when you're told something, you believe it. So for the rest of my school career, up until grade five, six, anytime there was art or a project, I would draw farms. <laughs> farms I could use with a ruler. See, and that makes me mad because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing the art I am today. It's not like I was a child prodigy with art. Exactly. You know, I, was, I wasn't anything special. I just really loved it. And you bought me markers and paper and you just kept encouraging me, telling me it was good. And eventually I became really good. So if you, have, you feel like you're not an artist yourself, just give it a try and you gotta get better because all of us were beginners. So today you're a beginner. I am a beginner. And your art's gonna look a lot like a bunch of people who are watching and that's perfectly okay. And my art looked like that at one point. So just have fun with it and let's jump into the video. Okay, awesome. Okay, so first I'm gonna go through our materials that we're using today. We have two sheets of Arches watercolor paper here and we also both have some Strathmore cards. These are the watercolor cards I use. We're not actually gonna paint on these. We're gonna paint on the Arches paper because it's better quality and then we are going to cut and tape them onto our cards. We have our Windsor Newton Cotman paints that we're sharing. And then we both have Princeton snap brushes in a size 12 and a size 6, and our water jars and our paper towel, and we're ready to go. Cool? Excellent. Okay. So we'll just start with one paper at a time. And can you can you draw a heart? <laughs> draw one or paint one? Paint one. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna pick your color palette that you want to use. So Valentine's Day, I'm thinking reds. I'm just gonna wet these up and activate them pinks and I just went all over my card over here it's fine it's fine guys um what else are you thinking do you want like purples I like yellows with mine mm -hmm. sounds good purple okay and what we're going to be doing you're going to use your smaller brush and you're going to pick a color now you can either go we're going to do hearts you can either go in rows or you can just do them kind of all over but what's going to make them look cool is you're gonna do some color bleeds. So I'll just show you one to start. So you're just gonna do a heart and it doesn't have to be perfect at all. They can all be different shapes, different colors like this, but this is the part that I want you to, okay. So there's not too much water, it's not running everywhere. Wash off your brush. I'm gonna pick a new color. I'm gonna pick a yellow here. And you're going to do another heart and it's just gonna slightly touch that one so you get a nice color bleed, see that? Right there, how it bleeds into the other one. Like that. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep going and just placing hearts around each other with little bits touching each other. Okay. Okay, so you can pick, so, these ones are the ones, the ones that are wet are the ones that are activated. So pick whatever color you like okay. and just go for it. I wouldn't do a yellow and a purple together because yellow and purple are contrasting colors and if you mix them together, they will turn brown. So stick with a color palette that if they bleed into each other, you know, it won't be a huge deal. Also to get a different, you know, tone of a color, you can do one that's really saturated red. So like using more paint and then you can tap off your brush a little bit and then use a really light wash of red to get a different tone of red. Is it okay that one side is a little darker or should yep. I make them all? Okay. Nope. Do whatever, like, I think that's the beauty of watercolor that you can just kind of do I and I don't have to wait for that to totally dry. No, you don't want it to dry. You want it to be wet so the color will bleed into the other one. Okay. And this is just like fun practice. So I'm even going to throw some pink into this red one. You can just tap colors into the hearts. Nope, that's perfect. Oh. Yeah, and if you feel like you need a bit more water too, I'd say use a bit more water because we're using a smaller brush. 
not as much water picks up on it. So I'm going to start with another red here. Yeah, the smaller brushes don't pick up as much water. And if you don't get a color bleed, that's okay. It might just mean that your, your first heart is dry, but that's fine too. It doesn't have to be. This is more like of an abstract watercolor painting. So don't feel like it has to be, look a certain way. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. You know, you can try to make some colors lighter by just dipping your, like a little bit of paint and then more water. So it's a lighter value of that color. Just change it up. So I'll do that with this one. I have pink on my brush already. I'll yeah, just- That didn't seem to work with more water. <laughs> That's okay. It's still a bit of a lighter value. Yep. Yeah. Nice. I would try maybe even a smaller bit of the hearts touching. So like just the edge. Okay. So you can see more of the shape of the heart. And don't be afraid to use a lot of water because you can always mop it up with your paper towel too if you need to. I make that mistake all the time. Like there's a lot of yellow running into this heart right here which wasn't intended, but if yeah, I wanted I had to- Yeah, that happen there. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could mop it up, but for this, I'm just gonna let it let it flow. I kind of like when that effect, hap effect happens. Okay, you said not purple and yellow? Yeah, okay. I, you can put a purple beside a red or a pink, okay. or a yellow beside a red or a pink, because if they mix with each other, they'll still create like a secondary color, but purple and yellow are contrasting colors, so. They wouldn't, they would mix a brown. And you don't have to go in any specific pattern of colors, just random colors. You do big hearts, little hearts. Now, if you're using cheaper paper, we're using Arches paper, which is good quality. It will stay wet longer, so you'll have more time to get these color bleeds. But if we were using something like Canson, the XL paper, it would you'd have a harder time getting those color bleeds. So you'd have to work faster, which isn't ideal, especially if you're a beginner, but it's still possible. I suggest B watercolor paper if you can't get Arches, because it's also pretty decent for color bleeds. Yeah. Okay, so you did mix the purple and yellow, which is okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but but a color bleed, just no no no. Yeah, don't, okay. Just don't touch it again. Okay. Because when you get a color bleed, you can you can have colors bleed into each other that are contrasting colors, but it's when you start to mix and go over and over and over again, that's when it starts oh to be goodness. brown. Oh my goodness. Like I just said that. Okay. But that's okay. That's that, okay. See, it's a nice color bleed. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't suggest it for beginners because I feel like new people want to keep going over it. Yeah. And then that's when it turns brown. That is perfectly fine though. Because okay. you're getting a nice color bleed. You still see yellow and purple. You don't see a brown. But if yeah. you were to touch it over and over again yeah. okay. and mix it. If I tried to make if adjust you just, my the size of my heart. Exactly. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But to let it bleed into each other. That's fine. It's like our kindergarten kids, you know, when they have to keep going over and over and over again. Yeah. She's a kindergarten teacher too, so. Like, just leave it. I know, just stop touching it. <laughs> but they love mixing colors and making brown. Seem to do that with Play-Doh too. Oh yeah. Never stays one color for long. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna speed it up. So another thing you can do 
If you don't want them all to be color bleeds, you can always do layering too. So layering is when you do wet on dry. So I'm going to be painting wet hearts over dry ones and then you'll get a really nice layering effect. So you can do that too or you can just stick with the color bleeds. But I'll just show you what I mean. So for this it's best to pick like lighter, not lighter colors, but a lighter wash of a color. So I'm doing red, but I'm doing a light wash of it, meaning more water. I'm just going to go over and it won't bleed together oh, right. because it's dry underneath. So you'll get a nice transparent layer, which could also, you could do the whole thing like that too, which would be cool. But you can stick to color bleeds if that's more comfortable. I'm just trying to fill up this paper. Okay, so we will put these ones to the side to dry and then we will put them on our cards after. Let's put it up there. And we're gonna bring out our second one. Do you wanna do flowers or do you wanna do stripes next? Stripes. Stripes, okay. So you're gonna take your bigger brush. And the trick with doing stripes, you're not going to be flicking your wrist to get it. You wanna move your whole arm across. Mm -hmm. And it, you don't want it completely straight, okay? okay. You want it kind of off. Just again, try and pick an analogous palette. So three or four colors. So if even if you want to do this for like your husband, you want like blues and purples. Like we can wet up some blues and purples here. That sounds good. And just stick to, so there's two purples there, two blues there, and just alternate. And then try and do them different values. So some lighter, some darker, some using more paint, some using more water like that, okay? I'll do those with you. Okay, so you're just going to start at one end and if you get it on my table, don't even worry about it because there's paint all over it. And just move your whole arm and it doesn't have to be straight. Okay. Oh, Oops, more water. Yeah, because your brush was just dry. So you need to make sure it's in there and nice and wet. Yep, so if you're getting these little marks, that means you need more water. And then you can always go back in like this, so grab more paint, and then just tap it in there, like that, and get some cool color bleed shapes. But don't be afraid to use water. And I'm touching some of the stripes to the other one, so I get those cool color bleeds as well. And you know what, I'd pick up some more color and drop it in, like just touch it to get some more. I think you, you're, you need to wet your paintbrush a bit more. Yeah, because you want those nice color bleeds happening. some colors in there and if you wanted to you can mix blues and purples together to get new shades I might do a lighter value of that one that I just did So I wouldn't even like wash or wipe off your brush too much. Get more water on your brush if you need to. Because we're dragging it out so much, you will lose some of that water along the way. Yeah, I love those color bleeds, see? And then we're gonna cut out a heart in the middle after.
40. Don't be sorry. And then pick up some more color and just drop it into those lighter areas if you want, just to add a bit of texture and yeah. Try the dark purple in there too. The top one? Yep. And I'm just gonna take some water and then let that purple run in there. And then here, go right and do another line. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did here. Yeah. Or up there. Yeah. So it's the same color. And really press down with your brush. Like, we'll get down to the belly of the brush. Yeah. So it's just a lighter wash of that same color. And then you get the darkness bleeding into it. Cool. And then you can always even, you know, just tap some more dark in there like that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so the last one we are gonna do are flowers. We're gonna try and make them easy. Again, you've done flowers how many times? One. One time before. One flower. One flower before. So don't get down on yourself. Watch me first. And it doesn't even have to look like a flower because we're gonna cut a heart out of it. So if you only see half of a flower, you just kind of want curvy shapes. Okay, when in doubt, do a-, a The C a, thing? The C curve. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take my red. And I'm gonna start off by doing squiggly. Now, there's a lot of paint on my brush, so that was a mistake, but that's okay. See, I make mistakes all the time. Um, you're gonna start off by just doing spiral thing. Yep, oh, some squiggly yeah. circles with the tip of your brush. And then you're going to use the belly of your brush. You're gonna do light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure to do C curves going around, okay, for roses. And you want to leave some white space. The trick is learning to leave the correct amount of white space. I'd put more water on your brush. Okay, and then as you go further out, I'm going to take some more water on my brush so it has less paint, and I'm just going to make them lighter C curves going around. So the way you want to drag your brush out, yeah, I press it down. So don't worry about like, look how I'm pressing it all the way down and dragging it out. You will not hurt the brushes, I promise. Then I'm going to do another color, an analogous palette. So red, pinks, yellows. Yep. Press down even more to the belly of that brush. Slowly and just drag it around. Yep, good. flower this time and you can even have the flowers running into each other if you want so I'm using quite a bit of water for this like I'm literally dunking it in my my water jar yeah and bringing it to my paper if I need to mop it up if it's too wet I can do that easily And then I might drop in some more color towards the center to get some cool color bleeds. Can I tell the people I don't like doing flowers? I know, that's okay. You don't have to like doing flowers. <laughs> you don't have to. Just tell them the people. <laughs> Whatever you like. If you want to stick to stripes, you could totally make a living just creating stripes as art. People do it all the time. I like the hearts. I, that's good. And the hearts were good too. That's good. You just leave it and then change yeah. colors? Okay. Yeah. No, that's actually really good. Does so orange go? No. No? So uh, orange and red would. Okay, but, but I see, added look the purple? Where, okay. look where, yeah. See, look where the orange and the purple are on the color wheel? Okay. 
so that will make it difficult. You want to yeah. stick now to this, so purples and reds. Okay. So what you can even do too. And pinks? Um, you can do a pink, but what I'm going to do for you is I am going to mix a new purpley red. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. So I mix, so it's a new shade. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. okay so like just that. start dipping it in there. So stick with certain colors that go together on the color wheel. Oh, that's a nicer purple. No, I want to use it. Okay. <laughs> And we will be adding leaves in after. And again, you can do some color bleeds with the flowers if they're close together. Yeah, it's nice. When in doubt, just do a bunch of curved shapes. Actually, I do like this color. Yeah, right? And then I go back in to this and Make then it tap in more there? just in the in the center. So just go right back in there. Grab more. Yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Actually, I like how much space you've left in between your flowers because it will look nicer with the green. I've kind of made them all bleed together here, but that's fine. Actually, I'm just going to throw some green in there to get some color bleeds before it dries. So we will throw green in there after, but mine are just so close. I want them to be bleeding into each other. I'm not even really making any. That's okay. I know. I had too much. Yep, that's fine. You can paint over it, you can mop it up. I make mistakes and drop water on my paper and color on it all the time. Too much paper. You can even add like more red to this to make it more of a ready, darker mm -hmm. red. And then you can add more purple yeah. to it after. Is there any way I could use? Yep. Okay, so, just so like half a flower? Do Just start doing C curves okay. around. Just do curves. Okay, I'm going to use that. I'm just so to... like here, Yeah. I'll show you. I'm just going to do a little bit there. And then I'm just going to start going around. Okay. And it doesn't even have to look like an actual flower. I'm just doing curve shapes. Mm -hmm. I always get this panicking feeling like I didn't press record <laughs> all the time when I paint. I did, I did. Don't worry, you don't have to do it again. But <laughs> I always get that panicking feeling like, oh my god, I haven't been recording this whole time. Don't worry, we are. It's all good. Yes, okay. So I'm just gonna That's what I need. Okay. Put mine over here. I'm actually, just show you. actually, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I'm, I told I'm you. I'm sorry. I no, am that's really very good. Very impressed. Okay, so you're gonna take your big brush uh -huh. and watch me first. Okay. You're just gonna do light pressure with the tip of your brush, push it down as you're dragging it out, and then come back up, releasing the pressure to a tip. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't have to look this per perfect. If you want, just do a curve. Okay. Do another curve. Like it doesn't have Which to be. Which one did you use? The far one. Either or, you can mix them, you can use both, okay. whatever you want. Okay? And it can happen coming from a flower if you want, or it can just be like leaves in between. Yep. 
So really press down. Like, don't be afraid that you're going to ruin your brush. I'm actually going to put that pillow over there. Yep. I dip it in the water a bit more. And press. Press, press, press. Up. Yep. So because that, yours turned out longer, because you held it down longer, which is fine. You can do long leaves. So if I want to... That's how I make a long leaf, right? If I want a short leaf, I'm gonna release that pressure sooner for a shorter one. Yeah. And then have them curving different ways. Here, I put a stem. I have another one coming off there. Have it go. See, like mine like doesn't even have actual leaves. <laughs> I like yours. But yeah, it's just like you just throw the color in there and it just gets to where it needs to go eventually. Okay, so where yep. do I go from here? So I'd pick a lighter green. Yeah. So this green. And just start doing, just filling up some of those white spaces even more. How? Just, just the same leaf? Same, same thing, just going. Okay. You need, but then have them going different ways like this. So have one going like this, and then have one going like this. And just curve your hand, and it will go that way. Nice. And you know what I think we should do with yours, because there is still some white space? Mm -hmm. I would take some pops of yellow, and just do like little... With a smaller brush? Yep. Just in the little white areas. Okay. Just little pops of yellow. Oopsie. There's no oopsies. You're good. Okay, good. Maybe right there and there. Okay, and now all we have to do is wait for it to dry and then we will come back and we will Ooh, that's not cut a, it out. For somebody that didn't want to do uh, <laughs> flowers. flowers. <laughs> Let's, um... Okay, perfect. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick which ones you want. So because yours is kind of nice in lines, I would only trim this to fit on the card. Maybe we can do a gold border and then write something nice there. Mine is kind of staggered all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip mine over and I'm going to draw a heart. If you want to get a stencil of a heart, if you feel more comfortable, you can do that. I'm just going to freehand it because I don't care. And then you are going to cut this out. If you want to save the heart in the middle for like another card, you can just make a little slit there. Otherwise, I would just poke it through. Both sides? Could I do all four? Um, yep, if you want, for sure. So my heart's not the greatest, but it's all good. So then you're going to take your card and you don't have to get these watercolor cards or cards, actual cards to do it. You can always just use folded up like cardstock and then so see how it will have a little border mm -hmm. like that. I use the gl Tombow glue tape. It's just easier than taping it. And oh, wow. Yeah, see? Oh my gosh. You made a card. And they're pretty. And then what I suggest you do, just to make it nice and cute and simple, is take a nice black fine liner and you have nice handwriting. I would just like write love right there, really small and okay. simple. Lowercase. If you want to, whatever you want. You could do it in cursive writing, you could do it if you know calligraphy. And then, if you want to step it up a bit, I have these gold watercolors. Just have to activate them like that. And then you can take your small brush. Do you want to? Mm -hmm. And then just go around the edge. I'm going to do calligraphy love, so using my Tombow brush pen and put it in the middle here. And then I think for this one, I think you should do the same as this. Okay. With the cutout heart, I think that will look really nice. On this so one? Just, no, on the, this one. Oh, sorry. Or that okay. one too. You can do that one too. There you go. And then for the last one, you can do the same thing, or you could always cut those up into little tags too. 
And then for tags, what I like to do is I like to just make them look a little more gift taggy shaped like that. Punch a hole, put some ribbon. Good. You know. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye. Bye.